Okay, guys, today we have another animatronic in which I bought a little while ago, a couple of months ago, actually, and I think I teased you online with it about what it was, probably in shorts, but today we are going to open this guy right here. It's one of the most awesome ones. They're all one of the most awesome ones. I love it. It's called The Hauntress from Spirit Halloween. <laughs> box here on the front it says side pop out motion makes a ghostly scream sound stands 5.4 feet tall and as most of you or all of you may know this guy right here and yes I know it's a girl this girl right here hides behind a corner, and when you walk by and you trigger her, she jumps out and scares the living crap out of you. If we look at the side, we have a full body picture of her. It says basically the same thing. The back has a story about the Hauntress. The other side has two pictures of her face, and she is super creepy, and I'm pretty sure she needs the Aquafresh. Excuse me, miss, can you let go of my shirt, please? Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to get this little lady here unboxed. Hmm. Okay, looks like maybe she slides out like there's an inner box. Her innards slide out. <laughs> okay, man, I'll tell you what. Once you take these animatronics out of the box, you can never get them back in to actually fit so that you can close the top of the box. So, okay, we have the Hauntress's clothes right here. We have a Hauntress arm right here. Hmm, I wonder. We have another Hauntress arm right here. Hmm, I wonder again. We have the Hauntress shoulders. Oh, we have the Hauntress's head you gotta love the hauntress's face oh my gosh that is one creepy looking face i don't remember her being this creepy in the store excuse me ma'am you're officially a half a head <laughs> okay miss hauntress face let's go ahead and put that there we'll put that over there in the box we have hmm i don't recall that i've ever seen this type of mechanism just alone it's usually already connected to whatever the uh, the frame is. Okay, well, we got that. We got the instructions. We got the power cord here. Okay, the adapter. We've got a black bag. Hmm, okay, not sure what that's for, unless that is to assist in packing her back up. I don't know. That's kind of a cool feature there. I guess we'll find that out later. And we have a box labeled the Hauntress. This is probably just all the little pieces and parts that we need. And I haven't heard anything online about how easy or difficult she is to put together. Um, yeah, we got some zip ties here and some screws. We got a couple of, oh, this is the um, detector, or whatever you call it, <laughs> the sensor. Wow, there's like a lot of little pieces and parts. We got a spring. We have the whole power and voice box here. All right, let's stick all that back in that box for the moment. And then we have the base and some other pieces in here, which I'm going to have to cut out because they are zip tied in. Okay, we have everything laid out here on the table that we're gonna need to put together the Hauntress. You gotta love that face, look at that. The mouth kinda actually reminds me of the Matrix when Neo's mouth starts to close. Very strange. Okay, let me go ahead and look through these, make sure we have all the pieces, and then we're gonna get started putting this together. Okay, so we have the base, we have the metal poles, and this is actually the sandbag. I didn't realize that, but we do have the sandbag here. Let's see, we have our spring, we have the plastic shoulder frame, spring, plastic shoulder frame. We have a bag of zip ties, we have the control box over there, the IR sensor, which is this little guy right here, um, and we have the adapter right here. Oh, what's D? Oh, plastic shoulder frame, that's this guy right here. Okay, that's it, let's go ahead and get started. And while I do this, I'm going to enjoy a delicious Dr. Pepper Strawberries and Cream, which is zero sugar. And no, I'm not sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but these are very delicious. So I want something to drink while I put together the Huntress. 
very tasty. Okay, so we're going to start building her right here on the table, and then we'll go ahead and put her on the floor, and we'll even put her behind a corner so we can try her out. Okay, we got the arms, we got the face, we got the hardware, and we have the clothes. So we have everything we need. Here's our base. Okay, put our A and B poles together. Get in there! <laughs> What in the world? Okay, I hope that's right. Oh, whatever. Insert the metal poles, part B, into the base, part A. So this base must be part A. Part B, we want to insert like this, right? Secure with four screws. Secure the spring by placing it around the arm located at the base, blah, 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 blah. So that would be this right here, spring here. Hook it on there. Place the plastic shoulder frame over the metal poles. Secure with one black screw. <laughs> okay, so I already have to set her on the ground. Hold on now. Just hold on there, cowboy. Okay, so this goes on here. She pops out this way. So it must sit here. It bends in this way, and then she pops up. Secure with one black screw. All right. Insert the prongs located on the arms into the holes in the plastic shoulder frame. Okay, so we're going to assume that she's looking at us this way. Hmm. I wish I had a close-up of where those go. Maybe in here? What the heck? Ah, I see. I was doing it wrong. Now I got it right. <laughs> Something like that. We want her to jump and grab and be scary. Place the shoulder form over the plastic shoulder frame. So that would be like right here. And secure with zip ties. Okay. I don't know. I hope I have it on here right. It's on there. Snip them off. Kachinka! Kachinka! Insert the head into the square socket. Hello, head. <laughs> Into the square socket. Look, I cannot believe she's almost as tall as I am. I do not remember her being that tall when I was in the store. You have grown, little missy. Okay, place the costume over little missy's head. Oh, okay, it's Velcro, so it's easier than I thought it was going to be. All right, that's cool. Hood over little missy's head. That's what your new name is, little missy. Excuse me, little missy. <laughs> All right, come on, get your hands in there. Like getting a kid ready for school. Hurry up, you're gonna miss the bus. I, don't you talk back to me. Oh, you are gonna be grounded, little missy. No, you cannot have a snack pack. You already have a hostess pie. So much Velcro. She's like, I'm into goth. Okay, so we got everything Velcroed up. We got her dressed. You are looking mighty fine, girl. Pictures for the first day of school? <laughs> Okay, what's next? Secure the control box to the Velcro located at the base. Connect the cable from the control box to the cable from the base. That would be this, and that would be down here. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the Velcro. This connects to this. Something like that. Eat your veggies, kids. Because McDonald's makes this really tough. <laughs> plug the cable from the IR sensor into the port, blah, blah, blah. So we plug the sensor in, and then it's a long wire. Pretty long, at least. Um, it's got a little bit of adhesive on here and then like we plug it in and say she's behind this wall like an imaginary wall here we connect this i don't know right over here so when you walk by it triggers her and right as you get to her she jumps out scares the living crap out of you at which time you are grounded little missy and no ipad oh let's make it two weeks then and no iphone what do you think of that okay so there's the sensor now hold on let me make sure of everything else Hold that, please, little missy. Okay, don't. Important, fill the provided sandbag with 20 pounds of sand. Oh, I'll just run out and get some sand now. What in the world could I use in place of sand? I don't have any bricks. DoorDash, can you Home Depot me 20 pounds of sand, please? Okay, well, let's take the plug and we'll take little Missy here. Bring her back here around this corner. Here's our sensor. I wish it were longer. Let's stick it on the bag of popcorn for now. So walking this way, here's the sensor right here. It would catch us right about here and trigger her and she would jump out right about here. So she's hiding behind the popcorn and the cotton candy pretty dang good but we still need to find something to put down here 
that imaginary 20 pound bag of sand. Okay, skateboard grip tape. That's pretty heavy. Let's go ahead and try that. Set that right on there. Actually, let's add a jug of water to that too. Okay, so we got her all set up and the sensor is actually catching me move from way back here. I'm like five, six feet away. I hear you, ghouly ghoul. Go back in your hiding place. <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. So you're walking through the haunted house right here. Hey, man, I'm going to grab me some of this here popcorn. <laughs> ah! That works out pretty dang good. Let me grab some of this here. Ah! <laughs> hey, buddy, I like me some rainbow candy here. How about that damn... Ah! Okay, I'm having way too much fun in here with her. <laughs> Or maybe we could rent us some kids' movies. Come on, y'all. Come on, right back here. Ah! My neighbors probably hear me down here screaming. Ah! All right, yeah, so this is a pretty good setup, guys. I had to be careful not to move until I'm ready for her to jump out because the placement of the sensor catches me move, like, very soon. Like, I'm walking through, and I'm going to go rent some kids' ah! <laughs> that is so totally awesome. I love her even more in my own house than I ever did in the store. <laughs> so awesome. And the water jug and the grip tape works perfectly fine. We didn't have to go out to buy 20 pounds of sand. <laughs> How'd you like some raisinets, miss? All right, let's set it from back here, and I'll show you what it looks like if I'm walking towards her and she jumps out and scares me. Hey, y'all, let's go on over here and rent some of that Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I truly do love her so very much, guys. I don't think I've ever had so much fun with an animatronic in my own house in my life. Hey, y'all, come on. <laughs> I'm just a kid. All right, well, there you go. The Hauntress in my very own house. There she is, jumping out to scare me every single time. I totally understand now why she scared me so bad in that one video when I first saw her. All right, one more time, little missy. Come on now. Come on out and scare us. Here we go. <laughs> there was actually a guy on YouTube who put lights in her eyes, and that was pretty cool, too. But anyway. All right, this has been a fun, fun time. She's going back behind the corner there. Stay tuned, guys, because we have some more animatronics to be putting together. Holy crap, look at my Rocky poster. She scared my Rocky poster crooked. All right, I got him fixed. She's going to jump at us one more time here. I can just feel it. Come on now. <laughs> There you go. All right, guys, say goodbye to the Hauntress as she slinks behind the wall again.